This wall suggests that there's a particular dealer that's probably around the corner. But I've got to say, this is an impressive piece of uh, like stone right here. That's a piece of verd antique, almost certainly from Italy. Well, should we go see the kind of uh, gallery that Walensky Exquisite Minerals has put together? We should, since it's just now opened and this is the first time we've had a chance to uh, see it. Yeah, let's go see the space. And figure out where Troy is. Troy's probably hiding in his office in the back. Oh, yeah. That I am. Wow, what a space you oh. guys have put together here. Wow. Hey, yeah, I Troy. Wish, I wish hey, my office looked like this. Yeah, it's definitely not this neat. It's good to it's see you. Too, it's never that neat. No. <laughs> Troy, it's good to see you. Right. Yeah, see you great. As well. this, Welcome. This is a beautiful new space you guys have put together. Thank you. We took New York and brought it to Tucson. That's not always the easiest task, but it's really elevated. Yeah, it was a, it was a hassle, especially some of the multi-hundred pound furniture. A couple dollies were broken in the process, but we did it. We made it here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I love how you've put the min racks together. Oh. Yeah. So we made these custom cases and we are even ready for the future to go all the way up to uh, 2025 for the future of the new Oh, racks. wow, so, so you're, you've planned ahead. We are prepared, yes. There you go. Actually, so we're used to 2029. 2029, I was oh, gonna say, 2025. Really I mean, that's the day after here. tomorrow. It's uh... <laughs> Okay, so, so you're, 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 you're prepared. We are, we are. And each one of these are filled with all the volumes as well. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, I think it's important for people to have touchstones with, you know, media and catalogs and mm -hmm. You know, with, of course, the min rack and rocks and minerals and things like this, it, it allows people an insight to what's out there, which is part of what you guys have been spending a lot of time doing, or you in particular, right? Yeah, so we, I like to do, I like to innovate, and I like to do all types of things. So we have my good friend who's a designer, uh, his name is Antonio. He designed this desk. He designed, actually, all the walls that you see here, and even these nice new drawers, and we keep... We do keep minerals in here. Oh, Ooh. so it's not just on display. It's not just for looks, yeah. Mm -hmm. So lots of, some of my favorite pieces in here are, I do like the lemons. Sardinian smithsonite. Mm -hmm. Nice cadmium yellow. Those are oh, yeah. a really nice piece of a stalactite. Did you have a piece that caught your eye, Lauren? Oh, I, I have a propensity to be drawn to uh, for appetites, particularly when they're purple. <laughs> Fantastic. The color zonation on that, you know, some of them end up looking a little muddy and this one yeah. really still has that. That's a particularly good pop. piece. Something that we normally don't have is peridot. And this is one of my favorite ones out of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. The color on that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And clarity and size. Let's see what else we got in here. This is just. Colors. Yeah, I love the color on that. It's very Tucson y too. It looks kind of like a cactus. It's got some southwestern vibes. Mm -hmm. you, know, you associate copper oxide minerals with uh, yeah, but the Southwest. Utah. That's part of the Southwest. I guess that's true. Depending on where in Utah. Utah's a beautiful place. I've been to uh, Zion and Bryce Canyon out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's definitely Southwest. I'll we do that. have another draw over here as well. Sorry for all these stickers. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, this, uh, so I'm a big color guy. Check that out. That's pretty blue. That's my favorite color. Periba blue. It is. <laughs> and you get the sparkle too. Very sparkly. This one's pretty sparkly too. Where's this one from? Oh yeah, these are that, actually that's, better yet. Do you that, have a that's label? gotta be Congo would be my guess. I think it is Congo. So that way he doesn't mess up the spelling on it. But there are definitely uh, the label is not here. Ooh. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> We're going no labels sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Well, surely that's yeah, these space, are cool. This, um, these are new, and from I know they're not a hundred percent sure, but they do believe these are after fluoride. Hmm. 
Azurite after fluoride. After azurite. After How fluoride. do you make that work? Well, I guess it's you, carbonate. It looks like the it looks like the fluorite's still there, so it's an azurite coating of fluorite. That would make a little bit more sense. Um, but that's yeah. We we debuted these in Denver, and okay. they got a lot of these are. And oh yeah, you got the fluorite oh, still in there. Yunnan, China. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got multiple stages of coatings on there. And then you get the sparkle effect mm -hmm. in blue. In blue. Color I'm a for big you. sparkle guy, yeah. Yeah. No, you, you gotta. You I gotta actually have a, little... a small collection that I just call sparkly stuff. I love that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it's important. You find what gets you excited, mm -hmm. and it's hard to not like a mineral that's scintillating. Mm hmm. Um. Okay, so one of my favorite new features of this room is Evan's photography. And we have, from a couple of different exhibitions, so for every exhibition we like to do prints. So we have anything that looks very modern art and minimalist is going to be from our silhouettes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and that's your most recent? This is the most recent. Okay, um, of your exhibits that you put together. Silhouette, silhouette, and then I think we have some from Illumination in the back. Um, but our, our real, like, most recent exhibition was actually our furniture. So oh. the catalog is not out yet. It will be out in a few months. But we have about maybe 10 pieces, and I did bring two of them here. This is a chair. Um, I call it the, the road night chair. It's pretty big. It can fit two people. And um, also we have this marble coffee table here. I love the coffee table. The, the coffee table is amazing. This does come in a pyrite finish as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the exhibition is called Second Nature. We also have a chandelier. We have tourmaline side tables. I have a pyrite sort of desk console. Um, and you can come see that in New York. We did do the salon art and design show at the Park Avenue Armory in New York. You can look that up and about 80% of our furniture was there. So my my personal favorite, oh, it's hard. There's a lot of in here. I was going to say. But it's actually the Savorite. I think it has to be the Savorite. I mean, it pops yeah. in, I mean, it's mine. So I think you're selecting the right one. I'm a big uh, superhero guy. And to me, this just looks like the one of the Infinity Stones. I feel okay. like, I feel yeah, like yeah. Dr. Strange when I'm holding it. Mm -hmm. Nice. So does that mean get the... What infinity stone is that? Time stone. Time stone. Okay. Obviously, I am not. I'm not up to snuff on this, and I'm gonna have to. And time stone in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, yes, of course. Different color in the comics. Just to be confusing. Just to be confusing. No, it's just. I mean, Savorite color is. It's. It, there's got to be something about human nature where we're attracted to a certain color yeah. of green. It's unmistakable. It's just, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you see it and you go... <sighs> well, this is a remarkably sharp crystal. And, uh, the luster's great. The luster's the great. Insane. and uh, you know, then you could The, just the index of refraction it. is so high that it just makes such a brilliant stone. Yeah. Which is why, despite sitting in a case with that tourmaline and that tanzanite, it's still the right. first thing it's the eye gets brought yep, to. It's the and, smallest and, and, one. And don't, don't, don't forget the I, electric I, blue. I, yeah. I'm, getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So some of these were in our exhibitions. Um, mm -hmm. oh, this look. tourmaline here was from Candy. Uh huh. I can see why. Yeah. Candy's the one we did. You did last year, right? Candy was last year. Last yeah. year, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think we saw this one, but the last time we saw it was through. Was Zoom. virtual, yes, and it's not the same. And I will same. say, um, the difference. It's always nice to see things in person, right? Especially with that. Yeah, that's a nice size there. Sharp. Yeah, this piece gets a lot of attention for obvious. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, the termination is hot pink, so, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Just missing a little band of blue across the top. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think when it's that big of a pink. I'm just playing to the cheap seats here. Just, oh, that's, oh, you're that's... saying that, it, that it'd be better if it's a blue cap? Oh, okay. I, I see how this is going to go. Is this going to be the theme for, for this year? Hey, People I, keep yeah. 
People keep this is this is a blue people, bottle. People keep showing us blue cap tourmalines. What are we gonna say? So this <laughs> and this was from our sirens exhibition years ago. And this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Well, it's that true electric blue. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, you, you you know that we enjoy. And we we named this piece. one um, Imugi or Imuji. I'm not 100% sure. It's a I believe it's a Korean mythological dragon, and it's very. It just looks sort of like a moving, scaly creature. Mm -hmm. The blue's great. Well, I like dragons as long as they stay mythological. <laughs> and I like that in reality. Oh, Let's yeah. Let's see if I can... Yeah, I mean, what looks makes... a lot better on the lights. They're really the electric. Yeah. They're electric really pops. It's just one of those beautiful happenstances of nature that you get that thin coating of azurite on there and it mm -hmm. plays with the... Malachite, you get that. We also make, um, for any piece that's been in an exhibition, we do make special tags. For example, this was our silhouette. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this was also silhouette, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's missing right now, but we do have candy and siren tags too. So we're talking about blue caps. We come to the next case. And, and there we go. There is one. So, yeah, here we go. And, and this was from our illumination exhibition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Things kind of like glued that's down. That's paprock. Yeah. Paprock. Yeah. yeah. This one's yeah. kind of glued down. We, so we can we can yeah. like the the way that they're lit. It probably it's like a teal. Sense. It's like a teal top. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. This one. Or sea foam green. Yeah. No, it's I, it's great. I love the color and, green. And the 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 apricot to bubble gum. It, it it's it's got a pastel. It does. Vibe, but with the color. What's the what's the term? It's almost um, cottage core colors, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the normal word for that would be, but uh, I just the color kind the, of like Florida vibes. Like yeah, yeah, like like beachy. Like yeah, beachy. you'd expect you know Don Johnson's gonna walk in the door any minute. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite. So this was an old exhibition. This was contrast. This was from 2021, and I call this one the butterfly. Doubly terminated cords and the tourmaline doubly terminated as well? No, no. you can't have it all. <laughs> Why not? No, it said you have We're the We're in Malinsky X Minerals. We expect <laughs> everything. <laughs> I expect it over here. <laughs> no, you just had You just, just is not the right word to associate with this specimen. But you've got the DT and then the rocket of the... I just love the color mm -hmm. on these tourmalines that raspberry russet combination is uh and these uh these malkin pieces are, are the great ones are getting harder and harder to find now and the terminations on these are always so much fun yeah so this was in contrast because you've got the the white and the yeah okay yeah we wanted to demonstrate contrasting matrix with crystal primarily on that ex exhibition and really showing why Matrix just elevates a specimen to the next level. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big Matrix person myself. It, it adds, it for me, it turns it from a crystal into a sculpture. Yes, it, it, it adds that little extra yeah. zhuzh of aesthetic. Yeah, the Morganite, for me, what's, what pops out is the, is the geometry on this. I mean, when this was in uh, New York, People did not believe me that this was natural. They thought these were, they thought this was a giant cut stone. <laughs> I mean, it is perfect. I mean, look at the luster on this. It is. Per perfect is a good way to describe that geometry. It's. And the clarity on it, too. What I really enjoy is the, the frosting on some of the faces, which yeah. really makes the gemminess of the others stand out that much more and gives it the crystal a little bit of depth mm -hmm. and allows it to play a little bit more with its matrix. I'll let you hold this one. 
Thank you. That was also in our illumination exhibition. Okay. Easy to see why. It looks like it ought to glow in the dark. Because even we did, I mean, this was such a popular piece, we decided to make this one of the prints that's behind you guys. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it looks great in that. Although I've got to say, I think I like it better in person. I, yeah, the photos can never do it full justice, no, but no, we do our it, best to... And I think it's the, it's the, there's an undertone to the color in this particular specimen that it's, it's a peachy apricot, but like a fresh apricot that you, that you got fresh. off the tree, not, not from the, not from the market. It's, it's beautiful. So this is from that Brazilian <sighs> find um, mm -hmm. a couple years ago. And uh, I think this was the biggest piece to come out. It, 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 give me a moment. I, th I think this is just jaw-dropping. Yeah. We I mean, had several road nights from that find. This was the biggest chunk of crystal we've, that we've got from there. The, the gemminess, the way that it transmits the, yeah. the, the light. I mean, you see it across the room. Even in this room, it stands out. And before before this find, um, I'm sure as you guys remember, maybe 10 plus years ago, it was hard to get rhodonites of any substantial size. Yeah. No, this quality it was absolutely game changing. Yeah, um, I've been hearing ten, that. 10 years ago, Broken Hill, New South mm -hmm. Wales, was where the best rhodonites came from. Yeah. And they were nothing like these. This. Did they, they? They did. They changed the game on road night. Yep. And we only get one of those finds, you know, every every blue moon. And I love the termination combination mm -hmm. here. Yeah. You get a little bit of contrast. Otherwise, you'd just be way too spoiled. <laughs> Can't have it all. <laughs> Although I, I think that actually elevates the piece in this case. Yeah, it, it makes it a little bit more dynamic. Yeah. You're gonna to have to hold the lid up. I'll hold the lid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think that's, I mean, I mean, that's what, what sets you guys apart in a lot of ways is that when you guys Thank have you. specimens, it's that next level piece. And it's really interesting to see what you've been doing in terms of elevating the high end specimens in sort of the public awareness. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because that is actually a passion of mine. Um, for most of my life, I got to see the most incredible crystals in the world. And a lot of them kind of just stay in a collection and they don't really get to be seen by the public. And that is a big part of my motivation is to get these crystals and, and put them on display. Even if, if I don't own them, I'll, I'll loan them. The collectors and museums have been so great to me. Um, to bring them to New York City and put them on display for people to come see. I got to bring this to the Salon Show in New York City, and I introduced people who have never seen crystals before um, to some of the best in the world. And this was at, a, at the Salon Show, which is primarily a furniture show, mm -hmm. but of course um, I brought crystals for them to see. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about next, what a piece. The blue. Yeah, that blue is really, really good. The terminations, step outs, and then of course, you know, if that wasn't enough. You've got that gemmy quartz, that association, the, the matrix. I, and I love when they form in almost like a cathedral yeah. formation. Well, it's, it's very well, architectural. And, yeah. and, and you can see the overgrowths where if you look through this face, you can see how this mm -hmm. crystal overgrew that crystal, which overgrew those crystals. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It's sort of multiple parallel phantoms, if you will. It's, and uh, on top of that, which allows it to tell an incredible story, because you also got this one that's doing the same thing over on the side, but as a sidecar. And you probably got growth spirals coming out of the top terminations. Yes, but I'm trying to see. See if you can find the helix. I'm trying to see if I can get the camera to see the helix, because you can see it on the back side. How many people did you just absolutely gobsmack with this piece? A lot, and it was, I, I really hope them. that it grew the community. <laughs> I wanted people to become interested, and hopefully some of them have come to Tucson or have been on the internet looking at crystals. Um, 
I brought larger pieces, almost more home decor pieces for them first, them mm -hmm. to just kind of get a taste of it. Mm -hmm. But it also elevates, you know, I, I think a lot of people when you first start hearing about crystals, you know, the that's I'm not the first style of, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> you know, that that's not the first thing that comes to mind for most people. Right. And, you know, there were people, letting people know that that exists. Right. That's another thing. They, a, a lot of these, a lot of the people in New York, they didn't, they didn't even know that this exists. So that was a really nice for me to be able to show them that. And also I, we had a lot of community members come down to the show and check out the furniture. And I think they also got to experience a new aspect mm -hmm. of, of art. So you have a, another one of your exhibits coming up. We do. So we're, we're right now, we're actually moving the gallery. We're just three blocks down. Okay. Um, so if anybody comes to New York, please, uh, you can contact me on Instagram or if you have my cell phone number, reach out. Um, I love when people come and visit. Or um, info at Walensky. Or info at Walensky, that also goes to me. <laughs> 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 so there's a lot of ways to contact me. So do reach out. I love when people reach out. Um, I'll show you around New York. Um, usually when people come in, we'll get a bite to eat. We look at crystals and we have a good time. Well, you're, you're in Soho, right? We're in Chelsea. You're in Chelsea, okay. Yeah, which is like almost like lower West Manhattan. Yeah. So. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'll have to keep yeah. that in mind the next time I'm in New York. Yeah, please come by. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I really enjoy when people come and visit. And especially since this is just a little micro example of yeah. what you guys have put together and you've brought the, the vibe of your space in New York here to we Tucson. Did. And, we uh, did. I, I did try to keep, uh, I wanted this space to be New York meets Tucson, hence okay. like the pink accent wall and the pink chair. I wanted some Tucson vibes as well. New York, full New York stays in New York. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was fantastic talking to you and seeing what you guys have put together here and um, really look forward to seeing where this takes you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, definitely you look forward to seeing you in New York. Absolutely. Yeah. See you. Thank you. Take care, Brian. Thank you. Thank you.